you. God bless you guys out there. In Jesus' precious name. Um, I had a dream from the Lord around a decade ago. And uh, in the beginning of the dream, I'm on this kind of like a freeway, multi-lane freeway in a downtown of a city somewhere. And I'm in a car, my wife's in her car, and she's kind of driving up ahead of me. And I notice there's this guy with, with one, his car is like burning on fire. And so I try to signal to my wife to, to get away from this guy so she doesn't get burned if she gets too near him. And she gets, she, she gets out of there without getting burned. And so I pull up to this guy in his car and I said, what are you doing, man? Your car's on fire. And he's just sitting in there with this really dumb look on his face. And he looks at me and he goes, like he's really annoyed. And he says, yeah, I know, I know. I'll, don't worry about it, I'll, I got it under control. And I said, no you don't. And I thought in my head, you're not gonna do anything about it. And so, after that, his car got more inflamed and the fire was burning hotter and it starts spreading to all the other cars. Sooner or later, all the cars caught on fire all, all around that whole area. The Lord is saying that uh, Christians today, so many are living in their sins and thinking that the blood of Jesus is just going to wash it all away. When it says in the Word of God that if you continue on in your sin, there is no sacrifice left for you just a fearful expectation of judgment it doesn't matter if you claim the blood of Jesus and this and that you have to apply the blood of Jesus to your life I'm not saying that there's somebody who walks this earth that's perfect never makes a mistake never does anything wrong ever I'm saying that we have the flesh and we need to fight against it and we need to put it to death by the power and the victory of Jesus Christ he gave us that victory and if you fall down, you get back up. A righteous man gets back up seven times. Never, can, He doesn't stay down. He continues to get back up. If you got a big problem in some area, you keep getting back up until God gives you the power to lick that thing. And that's the way God is. He gives you the grace to continue whooping that sin that God gave you the power over. And it's all grace, it's all his love, it's all his mercy for his people. And yet there is today pastors preaching sermons that allow people to stay in their sin. It doesn't tell them to get out of it. It tells them to that you're good in your sin. You don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about it. Jesus' blood covers it. Actually, Jesus' blood washes it away. And he expects us to apply that blood and wash ourselves in his blood so that we can stay holy in him. And that we're not living in that darkness that we used to live in. Because we are light now. We're not darkness. And Jesus Christ lives inside of us. Now, we can't stay in the darkness. we got to move into the light. There's nothing else we could do. And I just pray that God would convict those pastors out there. These Christians out there. The fire is spreading. It's going to end up burning so many people. And it's going to send them to hell. It doesn't matter. Some people say, oh... Once saved, always saved. I can never be, I can never end up in hell because I got Jesus. Well, you going to watch strippers, you watching porno, you drinking like a fish, smoking uh, two packs of cigarettes a day, doing whatever you want, partying, sleeping around on your wife, it's not going to work. You're living like a demon and it's not going to work. And you say, oh, well, I... Well, I got rid of all this other stuff. I, I just I just like this one thing here. That doesn't that's not okay. Just because you got rid of a bunch of other stuff and you're still doing this one sin that you like, it's not okay. Jesus is a consuming fire. He wants to consume all the darkness because he knows it's what's best for us. We don't know what's best for us. He does. And he's got the best lined up for us. And he wants us to put that darkness out of our life so that he could shine and expose it all so we can burn with his spirit in the fire of the living God. God bless you guys.